Hey gamers, it's Winamute here from Garden This Game, and I just wanted to show you how you can grow food uh, indoors, outdoors, and kind of what some of the good foods are, and where you get the blueprints for the exterior grow bed and the interior grow bed. So we're gonna, you don't have to have the sea moth, uh, you can do this with a sea glide, you could even swim there, but if you face the aurora in kind of the starting area, and then kind of turn to the right a bit. There's kind of a clouded area over there that's that's hiding uh, the floating island. And if you've gone far enough in the game, you'll get a rendezvous point, or the Aurora rendezvous point. So it's about 1,300 meters that way. We're going to take the sea moth. Welcome aboard, Captain. And you're going to want to bring a couple items. Uh, you're going to need a scanner, so you can scan the uh, blueprint, or scan the items to get the blueprint fragments. You probably also want uh, a survival knife, so you can uh, get some of the seeds for these plants. And you'll probably want a flashlight as well, in case it gets dark. Uh, you may also want to bring, you know, food and water and medical supplies, just in case. And leave some inventory space, because some of the seeds are quite big. So we'll head there now. And I'll kind of fast forward a bit, just to save the travel time, but it's basically straight. So here we go, once we're around 400 meters away, uh, the floating island will kind of come into view, and you should have the aurora kind of on your left here, which is to the east, and we've been heading uh, southwest. Now I'll jump out just to get a better view. So you'll notice there's two mountain peaks, and there's two bases. One of them has the blueprint for the interior grow bed. And we'll, there's another part on the island that has some uh, grow beds as well, exterior, that we'll go to. Now you can access this um, island from one of the beaches, from the exterior. But what I like to do is go down below the island. And there's something like a moon pool under here. be able to see it. In the center underneath there's like some water area you can just park your sea moth at. Or you could swim in here if you wanted. So there's kind of a rocky area there and we're just gonna go up this way. So once you've gone up that little tunnel, you can see down into the center of the island where we, that's where we just were, this little uh, watery area. And if you go to the left here, it's kind of a forested area. You can just follow the path along the shoreline here. And just down here, this is the kind of the eastern side of the island. There are some grow beds. So these are exterior ones. I've already got the blueprint, but you would just scan these. And you would get the blueprint. Here's what the blueprint looks like. Um, so it's under exterior modules. Here it is, the ex exterior grow bed. And one of the great things to plant is these uh, marble melons. So we'll just pick one here. And they give 22 food and 15 water, so they're really good. Now you can either eat it, or you can... We're just gonna... I'm gonna drop one here. They rot pretty fast, so... You'll wanna eat, pick, you'll wanna eat it right as soon as you pick it. But using your knife, you can... Uh, this thing's gonna roll off here. Using your knife, you can... <laughs> there it goes, off into the ocean. So normally you can use your knife and just chop at these and you'll get four seeds. But uh, during this this build right now, there's a slight bug where it doesn't quite work. You have to hit it just in the right spot. Or you have to drop it on the ocean floor. But anyway, you can, you can plant the fruit or you can plant the seeds. So you can pick them to eat, but you'll want to uh, chop a few of them up just to get some seeds so you can keep, uh, keep growing them. So if you're facing west, and you'll probably want a compass for this, we're not going to go to that very top base, we're going to go to the one on the right here, which is kind of northwest, between west and northwest. 
from that starting point that we were at earlier, you just want to take a right and head southwest. And you'll follow a path kind of up the hill. So here we are on the path between the two bases. So there's one up there, kind of to the south, and there's one up here to the northwest. So we're going to go up here to this one. And here we are. So there's a few things you can scan here. There's the bulkhead you can scan. Near blueprint acquired. And there's a, there's a PDA in here. And here's the interior in indoor grow bed. So we'll scan that. This will let you grow this tree uh, indoors. Near blueprint acquired. Now if you pick some of this lantern fruit, you can actually plant these uh, you can plant these fruits and each one will grow a, grow a tree. And if you don't have it already, this is also the observatory here which you could scan to build an observatory, which is basically a big glass room. And there's also a there's also a spotlight you can scan up at the top here the top of this base. Near blueprint acquired. It was a really great <laughs> view from the top of this mountain. So I'm going to head all the way back down the mountain. So I'm just heading up to the other base on the other mountain peak to just see what's up in there. So at the top of the other mountain, which is the kind of base at the south southeast end of the island, you're going to find these little uh, pot planters which you can scan. And they look like this, the composite plant pot. And you'll find uh, a mar marble melon in one, and you'll find a Chinese potato plant in the other. So this uh, Chinese potato plant it's basically a seed, so if you pick it, you'll get this uh, Chinese potato, which is 15 food and 3 water, and you can either plant it or you can eat it. So you'll always want to make sure you're getting some seeds so you can continue to grow them. There's also a PDA in this uh, building. And you might be able to scan this chair and desk if you don't have it already. Now back on the road between the two uh, kind of cliffs, if you head down this way, you'll find a, a third base. And there's some spiders here you gotta be careful of. You can you can kill them with a knife or you can kind of just run away from them. And here you'll find an exterior row bed with a Chinese potato in it and some marble melons. And inside there's uh, usually an alien tablet which I've already picked up and a PDA. Now you can get into the back of this uh, base through this little door in the back here. Just kind of jump in. And you'll find a supply crate. And another PDA. And if you don't have the living wall blueprint already, there's one here as well. So if you grab one seed of each kind of plant that you want to grow, you definitely want to get one lantern fruit so you can grow so you can plant that and grow some in your base. You'll probably also want to get the marble melon and also the Chinese potato plant. This uh, grow bed here, I just I built that one there, so that one's you won't see that one when you come here, but you'll definitely see this old one here. 
And if you kind of go south from that area, there's a road and just along here, there is a, another PDA you can grab. That gives you the signal location for the uh, underwater base uh, in the jelly shroom caves. So another seed you'll probably want to get is the bulbo tree to take back to your base. That's pretty much everything for the island, so I'll head back to base and I'll show you how to plant all these things. So once you have that interior grow bed under interior modules, we can just plunk one down here. And inside this you can plant things like the bulbo tree and the Chinese potato plant and also if you have one of these uh, lantern fruits you can plant those in there as well. So I'm just going to advance a few days so you can see these grow. So here they are all grown up. We're not completely grown but more grown. So you can always always save a, a few fruit so you can replant the tree if you want. So yeah, the lantern fruit gives five food and three water. I think they recently reduced the amount of water and food that you get from it, but you you can get so many fruit that it's pretty it's pretty good. And those Chinese potato plants are good for food, and the uh, bobo tree is good for water. Ten water. And like you can see, you can also plant uh, trees and stuff in these planters. So I'll do a basic pot plant here. Take your fruit and let's plant it in there. You just put it in there. Get a little tree growing. So once you put a lot of these in multi-purpose rooms, you can have like a infinite supply of food and water. But the fruit uh, and stuff, it rots pretty fast. So it's good for keeping you alive while you're in like the a big submarine or whether you're in your base. But if you're traveling, you'll probably want to use uh, salted fish, which last a long time and have a lot of nutrients. And you can also grow things in exterior grow beds, like we saw earlier back in the uh, back in the floating island. So I've got some here. And there's another thing you can do. If you have the blueprint, you can use these uh, wall planters you can grow uh, marble melons in them. Or at least you used to be able to. I'm not sure if you can do this still, because it doesn't seem to be working. And once you get the alien containment vessel, which is under which is under uh, interior pieces, here it is, alien containment. Uh, once you get that blueprint and build it, you can put uh, fish in it. And if you have at least two of the same fish, like these two peepers, eventually they'll make uh, babies. So I advanced two days and there's a little baby in there now. A little tiny one. Right there. <laughs> you build them inside a multi-purpose room. And then if you build a second multi-purpose room below it and build an alien containment in that, they will fuse together. So this is a really great way to um, kind of farm fish. And the way to actually get them in here is just go out in the water, go out in the water, uh, grab one, and then assign it to your hotbars. Hot bar. So I'll just click uh, one when I'm hovered over here. So it's on my hotbar. I hit one and it goes in my hand, and then I just right click and it'll get released and start swimming around in here. You could also plant uh, plants in this thing, plants that you normally find kind of underwater. I'll put Gary in here too. So I hope that guide uh, helped you guys. You can definitely get become self-sufficient uh, with uh, food, with uh, grow beds and the alien containment. So as always, thanks for watching and hit, hit a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you uh, enjoy these kind of videos. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.